guys I'm gonna start off with the letter E and carry on exactly where I left off last time first up is Umberto Lenzai's Eaten Alive another cannibal movie good movie this is the uh, Severin blu-ray release excellent some good gore in that one next is uh, Toby Hooper's Eaten Alive or Death Trap, as it was called in the UK. This is the Arrow Blu-ray release. Good movie. Well worth having. Next up, on the Italian collection, which is from 88, is Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals. Not a bad entry as well. That's the, that's the Blu-ray release. So that's well worth having. Next up on the list is um, Joe Diamata's Erotic Nights of the Living Dead. It's the US DVD. Obviously, it's never been not released in the UK. This is the full uncut version. Next on the list is well, everybody knows The Exorcist. What a movie! great movie one of the all-time greats of the horrors always been a favorite of mine love the exorcist well worth having next on the list is the exterminator excellent movie absolutely love the exorcist um, the exorcist look, i was just talking about that i mean the exterminator sorry it's the uh, arrow uh, blu-ray release in the uk uncut as well so that's well worth having next is the 101 release blu-ray 101 films for exterminator 2 uncut so that's uh, another good release about time we had some good ones then is the original sam raimi's evil dead on blu-ray one of the original nasties which had so much hassle back in the day very tame now though but still a good movie the original evil dead then on next on the list is a movie called find this is the u.s release dvd because the actual uk version is still is cut so you best stick with this one it's quite a newish one very strange disturbing sort of movie but uh I liked it. That's the one. Find. Next up is Dario Argento's uh, Four Flies on Grey Velvet. I mean, to be honest with you, this is the shameless release. I can't remember it very well. It was okay. Not one of his best, but it was okay. Next is Frank and Hooker. More of a comic horror than anything. It's on the um, Arrow Drone. I think they've released it on Blu-ray actually now. So, um, but it's okay. It's a fun movie. Next up is um, on the Euroshock collection is Frightmare. So I think this is a uh, British movie as well. Don't get very many British ones. But it's not a bad one. It's, that's the US release. I would snap her uh, cover. Next is Fun House, uh, Toby Hooper's Fun House, the guy who um, did Texas Chainsaw. It's a good movie, I like this one. This is on one that uh, the Arrow put out, so a Blu-ray, so it's well worth having. I remember seeing that back in the day, actually, at the cinema. It was on with um, My Bloody Valentine. Next up, terrible movie. I mean, I got this for a frozen screen because it was on 
like the 72 list and it's on there with the executioner part two and both these movies are utter rubbish so we won't talk about that one very much next on the list is um the gore Girl girls this is the u.s release for the horse gordon lewis movie very old he's movies a lot of his movies are very old very dated because some of them are like 60s and that a lot of gore but it's very very tame to look at i got it because i didn't mind that one next is the 88 release for uh, graduation day part of their slasher collection that's not a bad one i quite like that that's the blu-ray as well next up is um hell knight linda blair from the exorcist He's okay. This is uncut as well. This has just been released actually on our, uh, not so long back on a US Blu-ray. So um, that might be one I might decide to upgrade at a later date. Next is um, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer, US release. Always liked this movie. Was always a fan of this one. Very controversial when it first came out. and It was heavily cut back in the UK. Uncut now. But, I mean, I bought the US one, so I stuck with that one. But, very, very real, sort of real-to-life horror. Just sort of makes you think, no, you know, it could happen and it could be real. Because it's got that gritty feel to it. Next is the uh, is uh, Wes Craven's Hills of Eyes. From quite an oldie one. It's probably 19, I can't remember, is it 1977 maybe? Something like that. This is a great release from Arrow. Like the special one with the, the book in that in the poster. Good release. Well worth having. Next is um, West Craven's Hills of Eyes 2. Same uh, from Arrow. Put this out as well. Good sequel. Not as good as the first, but it's, it's an okay movie. And um, worth having on that particular set. Because like I said, it's the special one with all the book in, in there as well. Next is um, Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. Okay movie. Put out by 88 on the Slasher collection. It's alright, but, you know, I've seen better. Next, then, put out by 88 as well. Part of the Slasher collection is House on Sorority Row. Not a bad one. I can't say too much because I can't remember it, to be honest. But um, let me just move along a little bit. Next shelf, going into it, is um, Roger Corman's Humanoids from the Deep. I do like this movie a lot. Very good. It's uncut as well. Um, always been a big fan of this one. Uh, I remember seeing that back at, on the cinema back in the day under the title Monster in the UK. Next up is uh, Human Experiments. It's okay. This is the US release, never never been released in the UK on DVD. It's okay, not brilliant. Next up is I Miss You Hugs and Kisses. A strange title. Never been released on DVD, that's just a bootleg. Just so I have it, being it was part of the list. Next put out by 88 is I Drink Your Blood. Not a bad one. This is the Blu-ray release, so he's worth having. Very old, but still not too bad. Next is uh, The Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue. This is the US Blu-ray release on Blue Underground. Excellent zombie movie. Some great uh, gore in this movie as well. So I've always been a fan of uh, that particular movie. Next, the first up is one of the, is the Ilsa movies. Ilsa, this is Ilsa Harem Keeper of the Oil Sheiks. Not a very good one on that particular list. And next is uh, Ilsa Tigress of Siberia. Okay. Probably the best one would have to be Ilsa She-Wolf of the SS. This is the uncut one. Uh, definitely the be best one in the series by a mile. And then probably the last one would probably be Ilsa the Wicked Warden. This is the US release. It was, I think it was cut in the UK. So I got the uncut one just to have it properly. Next on the list is Inferno. Stereo Argento. Excellent movie. 
well worth having this is the arrow release and it's uh on the uh, blu-ray one I'm trying to go not to uh trying to go a little bit quick on them because i don't want to go over my time next is uh intruder this is the us release by snaps films uh the blu-ray release excellent movie lots of really good gore in this so these were well worth having next is uh jungle holocaust which is Rigoro Diodata, his early cannibal effort before he did um, can the Cannibal Holocaust. This is his first one, I believe. He's okay, not too bad. This is this is the US one because it's uncut. It's got a collection of cards in that inside that particular box. Next is uh, Just Before Dawn. It's okay. This is the eighty-eight one again. It's George Kennedy's in that one. And next is uh, Killer Nun, put out by Shameless. Is okay from what I can remember. Oh, I always pushes them back. Huh? Next, I put uh, is Killer Moon or Killer's Moon, I should say. It's okay. I can't say too much about it because I don't remember it very well. Next up is The Last House on Dead End Street. I must admit, I was never a fan of this particular one. So, um, I shan't say much about Last House on Dead End Street. The last horror film, Joe Spinelli and Carolyn Monroe. He's not too bad. It's just that's the US uh, version. It's available as well in the UK. And it is uncut in the UK as well. Next is uh, Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. This is the US release, uncut. Big fan of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Big fan of Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the sequels. Oh, I'm making a right mess of this now, aren't I? Next up is uh, Lamberto Bava's Macabre. This is like a, one of the early releases on uh, DVD. I'm pretty sure they're releasing this on Blu-ray soon. If not, they already have. But I know it was, it was coming up. Or somebody was releasing it. Maybe it was 88, I don't know. But I know it was coming out on blue. Next is Madman. Put out by the um, 88 Arrow, sorry. That's the Blu-ray. Yeah, pretty good title. Worth having. Next is um, Maniac. Blue uh, Underground... Um, Blu-ray release, excellent movie, well worth having, definitely worth having. Next is uh, Maniac Cop, most people probably seen that and I'm pretty sure that's out on Blu-ray now as well, but I haven't upgraded it, it's on the Arrow Drome label, but it's a good movie. And last one today is Mark of the Devil, excellent one, this is out by Arrow. Very sleazy 70s movie with like witch hunting in that back in the back in the day. But it's a good release. I've never actually watched this particular release yet. But um, so I, I used to have the DVD, which I got rid of. But no an arrow because the arrows put it out. So, you know, it's going to be um, a good release. So that's it for today. I've just gone through um, E to M. So I will put out another one soon and carry on exactly where I've left off. So feel free to comment down below and I will be doing another video shortly. Thanks for watching.